Gopher tortoises are one of Florida's threatened species and they're protected under state law. So as the I-4 Ultimate Project continues, special care must be taken when removing these guys from construction areas. You don't normally think about that, right? Traffic reporter Amy Biondello explains the special gopher protocol in tonight's Big Drive. This one was probably found within the last month. It might not look like much. They typically have that half dome shape. But this is the home of a gopher tortoise near I-4. You'll see the, the mound of dirt. Under state laws, the gopher tortoise is listed as a threatened species. And that means if one of these burrows is found, they'll dig a hole quick. Construction stops. They're pretty elusive as far as being able to see them. And if they see you coming, they disappear quick. In order to safely relocate one of these tortoises, SGL must get a permit from Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation. Then a qualified and trained agent will come to remove and relocate the tortoise. And there are two methods to safely relocate one of these animals, bucket trapping or by excavation. Bucket trapping is less invasive and a quite simple method. Excavate a hole in front of the burrow, directly in front of the burrow, place that bucket down in the ground that's flush with the, the ground itself. Camouflage that bucket to where the, the tortoise, he'll come up, he won't know that that's there and he'll, he'll gently find his way into the bucket. If the bucket method doesn't work, a crew will be called in to excavate and that can be a much slower process. You'll have to dig down slowly, follow that that burrow down till till, the, till you find the tortoise and typically at the very very bottom. Burrows are usually about 15 feet deep, but the record that this crew has found was 47 feet. Now, once the gopher tortoises are removed from these construction areas, they will be taken to their forever homes at Florida Forever Conservancy in St. Cloud. Amy Biondello, News 6.